Well, summer is here and it is so important to have activities to keep those little ones at home entertained. And that's why we have our next guest. She is also a friend of the show. She's here to help us find our favorite arts and crafts. We have master crafter and YouTube star and author of the book, Sticky Fingers. We have Sophie Malekski. Always great to see Yay. you as well. Always fun to see you too. Okay, so we always talk about the importance of arts and crafts, Absolutely. bonding with your kids. It is essential during yes. the summer season yes, yes, too, yes. right? Well, because there's all this downtime. Yes. So why not do something fun together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is summertime, which means we've got a plethora of pool noodles around. Yes, we do. <laughs> and you can get these really inexpensively at most dollar stores right okay. now. So here's the time to stock up on these because these things you can make so many different crafts on. I mean, what you see here, we're going to be making a little flower craft and we'll make this really easy, but you can make animals, you can make swords, you can make flingers, you can make anything and everything. Flingers? Flingers. I can't wait to see what a flinger is. Oh, okay. it's so much fun. So let's make our flower pot. So the main thing to teach you is how to cut these because once you cut them, you can go to town and all you need is like pipe cleaners or two picks or anything like that will stick things together. You don't even need glue with this kind of stuff. Oh, wow. But what you do want is a knife, either like a serrated bread knife, or in this case, I've got one of those box cutters mm -hmm. that can go up and down here. And you take your knife, put it wherever you want, and then just twist your pool noodle. And when you do that, you'll get a nice even cut. Now, okay. of course, this is something that you want adults to do. You don't want children handling a big knife like this, but you can see how easy they are to cut. Now, in this case, I've cut one that's about four inches long. This is going to be our little flower pot, right? Okay. Now, do you want a blue flower or an orange flower? I want an orange flower. Okay, you got it. So, we're okay. going to be using a skewer for this, and they do have points, but once you get through it, you can cut that point off. So, what I want you to do is just stick that through there, okay. and in the meantime, while you're doing that, what we're going to do, there you go, that's it, put it all the way up and in. Do you want it all the way through the top? Yep. Just put it all the way up through the top just so you got your hole. There you go. Okay. Good. Okay, now pull it out. Now, we're going to add this right now because we've got our point here. Okay. And this is going to be our little leaf. And what I've done is taken that piece and cut it in half. Now, by putting it on now, mm -hmm. this makes it a lot easier for you to get that pipe okay. cleaner on there. Okay, now you're set. All you're going to do is wrap this pipe cleaner around. So I'm going to let you do that. Nice. This is so simple. And the, the, I imagine as a parent, the important thing is that you do the cutting. Exactly. You know, to protect those little fingers. But this is something you could have a great time assembling with your kiddos. Right, exactly. And on the thing that's really fun is that you can decorate your little pot with washi tape, duct tape, of glitter, course, duct tape. stickers, you name it, right? Everything yes. and everything. Okay. okay, so now do the same thing on the bottom there, okay, right? Okay, got it. And you could even put googly eyes on this to give them some personality. You can make an entire garden with them. You could add ribbon. You know, you can really do whatever you want once you got your base done. Okay, all right. Now, see this part? I Stick do. Stick it back on the top. Okay, I gotta, I gotta find where I stuck it. There it is. Okay. Yep, just find that little hole. Stick it in. Okay, ah! and now stick that sharp point down into there. And you shouldn't and need to cut it, flower. but you're good. There's your flower. That is cute. And now, booger time. But oh, but okay, yes, the glue dots. Yay, we love glue dots. We love our booger glue dots. Yes, we do. So you can just Great. take one of that on either side, put okay. it on your little guy, and stick it right in that hole. Beautiful. And then, as you mentioned, then the kids can go to town and put whatever they want on it to personalize it. You can it. even give this. it like little dealy boppers. Cute. I mean, you can make them into aliens. So check this out. This is all pool noodles. I call this my noodle poodle. Oh, 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 that is my favorite. Right? That is so, so cute. So cute, right? Noodle poodle. And now, wait, so this is straws and, and a noodle. Right, and if you go to my website, www.sophie-world.com, we have the noodle poodle will be coming up this summer and you'll be able to watch the video and make it yourself. Wonderful. And then you also have your book, Sticky Fingers, where people Absolutely. can go and get other craft ideas. Where do they find you online? Well, if they go to www.sophie-world.com, mm -hmm. they will find us. And also, we have an entire tour. We're doing an arts and craft tour. 20 different libraries across the Bay Area. Come and craft with us for free. Wonderful, great. And then also, I want to point what you've, you've got this. Okay, so check this out. This is, you know, you've got kids who love to battle. Everybody yes. loves to battle, yes. right? Okay, so if you got a kid that likes to battle, get yourself one of those plastic, cheap plastic swords, right? Cut it off, glue on a pool noodle, and ready? Voila! All right. And it won't Here hurt. You go. And that's the best thing about it. I just hit you on the head. <laughs> and you know what? I barely even felt it, though. That's the beauty of it. And we actually have, so these are some great toys, right, for the summer. Yeah. And uh -oh. toys in particular. Uh, they're storming the castle. Oh, no. So, no. Right. <laughs> we have Dan and Thomas <laughs> and Joe here. And Joe. Ah, Joe. <laughs> from engineering to play as well. So clearly this is something that uh, appeals to even the bigger boys in your family, too. So thank you so much. Everyone, make sure you check her out. Sophie Maletsky. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 11.30 as we bring value home right here on Sack & Co. This is ridiculous. Ah!